Today, I will make contact with Jerry Finnegan's sister. I mean, zoop, boom, there she's been, right next door for most of my life. And here I was doing absolutely nothing about it. I had my reasons. The way she looks is one of them. Oh, but you need to see the way she looks. This is the way she looks. And as far as I'm concerned, this is the way she's looked since coming out of the womb. Thanks. Sure. And this is the way I look. Which is why I don't go anywhere with girls. Especially girls the way she looks. Thanks. Sure. But today, I said, Brian, no more. I will connect with Jerry Finnegan's sister, even if it costs me brain death by humiliation. If there's one thing that the COVID-19 pandemic has taught us... It's that we shouldn't take the ones we love for granted. So whether it's FaceTime... Google Meets... Zoom... Or the house right next door... Send them some love. Jerry, Jerry Finnegan's, Finnegan's sister, sister by Jack Neary. What brought it on to me was something Jerry said to me last night. He called me one minute to midnight and said, Brian, guess what? My sister's getting married! I was speechless. Words would just not penetrate ever since the Finnegans moved in next door. Hi! Hi! I'm taking a bath later. Me too! By myself. Me too! We have two bathrooms. Me too! I'm seven. Me too! By six. I'm not gonna play with you. Okay. You can't make me. Okay. I'm not gonna. Okay. My dad sweats through two shirts when he jogs. My father. My father can fit two of my sneakers into one of his. My father. And he said if it stinks, it stinks, and we should say it stinks. My father eats light bulbs at parties. Words. Words always got in my way with Beth. My dad said that anyone with a name like Finnegan, who isn't a demo crumb, is too much short of a six pack. I'm not a publican. Your father's a publican. That makes you and two. But why won't you play with me? I'm ten, you're a girl, and your father's a publican. I just want to drop a bowling ball and it helps. No. Please? No. Well, I hate you. I hate you too, publican. Jerk face. Publican. Stupid head. Publican. Yeah. Daddy! Why couldn't I convince Jerry Finnegan's sister that I thought she was a, a charming, beautiful, borderline stunning creature? Boys. Boys? I like boys a lot. I actually heard her say that in a sentence once when I was 13 and she was 12. I like boys a lot. Don't say that. Why not? Somebody will hear you. Boys, I you don't. You can't just say things like that. You have to, you know, think them and hope they think back the same things. Wouldn't it just be easier to tell the boys that I like them a lot? That's not the way it works. Okay, so what if you're a boy? We'll pretend. And you're at a party. <laughs> and uh, you bump to a girl you like and she says, I like boys a lot. What do you? Uh, I, I turn the other way. Turn the other way? I turn the other way. Brian, what am I going to do with you? I don't know. What are you going to do with me? Ew, Brian, you are one sick puppy. Anyways, before I can do anything about it, she turns 14. <laughs> Beth Finnegan, the girl next door, is now fair game for each and every budding hormonal case at Chumsford High. Stanley 
Chazinski asked me out. I've never been out before, and Stanley Chazinski wanted to go out with me. So you went. On a date. Are you going to go with him again? I don't have to. Now all the other boys want to go out with me. One after another, all throughout high school, they took dibs on her. After Stanley Trzinski, it was Martin Perlmutter. After him, Henderson Pike. And he was president of the drama club. Publican. I tried out for the fall musical Bye Bye Birdie. I got the part of Kim. Hendy got Birdie. When rehearsals first started, Henderson wouldn't even look me in the eye, so I finally asked him. I said, Henderson, why won't you look me in the eye while we're rehearsing? And he said, I'm afraid that if I looked you in the eye, the effect of your spell might render me speechless. <clears throat> so I went out with him. When she gets home, I'm blowing bubbles in my driveway. What are you doing? I'm blowing bubbles in my driveway. Why? I, I need to practice my pucker. She has no idea I stayed up waiting for her to come home. You stayed up waiting for me to come home. I did not. Good tonight. Wait, um, Jerry told me you're going to Boston to see a chorus line with Henderson Pike. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Where is he? He... He went home. He tried something, didn't he? I'm going inside. He tried something! <laughs> what does it matter to you? I know what you're thinking. There it was. That was your chance. All you had to do was find the right words to say. So that's where things stood when I got the call from Jerry last night. So all day, I've been thinking of the right words to say in my brain, but I knew I could not look at her in the face and say what I really had to say. Ring, 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 ring. Hello? Hello! Brian? Hello. <laughs> Jerry's not home. Oh. I'll tell him you called. Okay. Thanks. Oh, wait. Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Did, did you say wait? Uh, uh, yes. Yes, I did. Well? Well? I'm waiting. I, I called to talk to you. Oh. Jerry told me something. <laughs> About you. <laughs> what? He said that you were getting married. Oh. Are you calling to congratulate me? Yeah, should I? <laughs> Brian, let me ask you something. Did Jerry happen to mention who it is I'm marrying? No. I'm not getting married. But Jerry said that. I think your friend was trying to set you up. And I think this is your chance. And I think you better take it. This is it. This is the point of no return. The time has come to ask the question, the question that will be the turning point of my life. Talk about crucial. Talk about momentous. Will you go on a date with me sometime? Sure. <laughs> Talk about easy. Tonight? Uh, tonight's fine, yeah. Time? Six. Six is great. Meet you in the driveway? Meet you in the driveway. Oh, wait, uh, Beth. Yes? Meet me in the driveway. We just established that. Meet me in the driveway now. Now? Now. I'm here. Stanley Trzinski, Marty Perlmutter, Anderson Pike. Nothing has changed, has it? Everything has changed, Beth. I'm important. We are important. Brian. Beth. Will you go out with me sometime? I already said I would. Beth, will you go out with me sometime? Oh. You 
asked me to my face. Yes. Yes, I did. Yes. Yes, I will. Great. 